What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part three for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way to Orberg Town over here and completed our first gym. And in today's video, we're going to be progressing through the main story and heading towards the second gym and hopefully catching a brand new Pokemon for our team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out on this playthrough. I've been having a blast with this game, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the content. But my boy Barry over here thuds us into us. He runs into us as we are trying to get a move on. And is he going to battle us? I don't think he does. I think he just keeps a move on. Yeah, he just keeps a move on. But as of right now, you guys can see our team right in the anime sprites down in the the layout and you can see how many badges we have we have one badge right below our face cam right there which is pretty cool i've been a being a big fan of the new layout here but yeah i've been absolutely grinding this game so if you guys want to catch more content from me we are doing a whole separate playthrough over on my twitch page link is down in the description below name is also on the layout so definitely go follow me over there and turn on notifications i legit am still grinding this is actually day one of the game coming out you guys will probably see this a couple days after the game comes out but Day one, I legit streamed seven to eight hours, and I recorded four videos. Well, this will be my third video, but I'm planning on recording four. I'm planning on recording four. But we're over here. This thing is sturdy, and he sets up a nice, lovely little sandstorm. And we're just trying to level up our turret rig here. Considering we will get a grotto in today's video, which is awesome. And I'm hoping we can get far enough where I can capture our first Pokemon for our team. Which will be dope. Grotto will definitely get, because we only need to be level 18, which is awesome. But I know where I'm going. In my, uh... In my other account, I'm, I'm way ahead of this. I've just been grinding the game out, trying to get as far as I can so I can bring other content for you guys on my YouTube channel. But we're just going to keep rolling here. Keep on pushing back. We got to go all the way back to Jubilee City to, and then head up to Floroma Town into Eterna... Eterna Town? What's the town called? Let me see it. Let me see. It start, starts with E. It's right here. We got to go up here into Floroma and then over to right here. Eterna City. Eterna City. So... Let's make our move on and get going over here. As you guys can see, we got Professor Rowan and Dawn over here with Team Galactic, who is like the bad guys of this uh, generation. And we're going to be versing them a lot in the upcoming uh, routes. But here's our first battle with them. Let's get rocking out with them. I think, was, is it a double battle or are we battling alone? It's double battle. Me and Dawn. So we about to see the ultimate duo right here. We about to go Turtwig and who's she rocking? She rocking Piplup, I believe. Yes, sir. Yo, Turtwig and Piplup with the duo right here. Gotta love it. What level is she on? She's on 13. We are totally fine here. I am just going to uh I actually use her base leaf. It'd be not very effective on him, but I think we just uh I think we just send it anyway. I think we just send it anyway. Water gun's gonna fly. Wow. Good shot. Good shot. This race relief should be able to take out that Wurmple, I think. Yeah, Wurmple's gone and we do a little bit of damage to Zubat, so yo. Race leaf. Wow. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. But the worst thing about Turtwig is it doesn't evolve on level 16. It evolves on level 18. But there's an upside to it. When we evolve, we don't evolve on level 36 now. For our third evolution, we evolve now on 32, which I think is pretty cool. So, you take this one in the chin, you take it a little bit of higher for your second evolution, but then you go four levels below the normal on the third evolution. So, I really do like that one. I really do like that one. But again, I'm going to try to make it up to the area where I can actually catch the first Pokemon for our squad. And then if not, in the next episode, we're definitely going to be starting to stack our squad up. I know a lot of you guys are anticipating my team and who I'm going to be using. But yo, I'm telling you guys, the team that we have planned out is so good. Cannot wait to get it for you guys. But let's keep ripping. Let's run through this route, get all that good stuff. I believe there's not many new Pokemon that we can actually capture here. So we're just going to keep pushing through, doing all the battles and stuff. And just pushing towards the main story. I know there should be like a TM or something over here. And there's my girl, Bebe, over here. What's goody? Whoa, what was that just now? That was amazing. Those guys look awfully scary, but you showed them. Ooh, that was like a breath of fresh air. Anyways, my name is Bebe, and I work for the system administrator in the Hearthorn City East. And I was putting such blah, 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 blah. She gives us ball castles right here so we can actually decorate our Pokeballs, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. But like I said, if you guys want to catch more content from me, definitely join the live streams. They're tons of fun. Everybody's hanging out. Everyone's having a good time talking Pokemon, and we crack a bunch of jokes there. But let's roll over here, grab ourselves this little Pokeball, and we get a nice, lovely little Paralyze Heal. Nice, lovely little Paralyze Heal. But yeah, I definitely need to get somebody else on this team, like, as soon as possible. Like, I'm getting sick and tired of just using Turtwig. Definitely want to get rocking on my other thing, because on my other playthrough, I already have four Pokemon on the team. Granted, I'm almost done the fourth gym, but we're rolling strong there. We are rolling strong there. But let's go blue. But that just shows how much I've been grinding. Day one, we have multiple uploads up, and we're, what's it called? 
And we're almost fourth gym on another one, which is pretty dope. Which is pretty dope. This chick's gonna have a Bidoof. We're just gonna raise Leaf it up. Get my Turtwig buzzing, dude. Turtwig's ripping. He's ripping. He is ripping. Get my XP plus 35. And this is such a different change of pace because I'm higher up there. I have Pokemon who are like, like max evolved. I have an Empoleon over there. It's pretty cool. We're just rolling out strong. We're just rolling strong. And now we're just sitting here with this Turtwig on this, this account. <laughs> We're gonna reverse a little trainer Johnny over here. Let's see what he has. I think he has a Shinx, doesn't he? Let's see. I have a feeling he has a Shinx. I don't know why. A Carb, yo. Even better, yo. We'll rip up on this Carp with the Turtwig. We will rip up on our Carp with the Turtwig. But, yo, the Underground is absolutely phenomenal for this game. The Underground is something super, super special. I've been playing it a lot on my other account, and it is amazing. Just hours of content. You can legit sit down there collecting Pokemon, Shiny Hunt, all that good stuff, mining for hours. It is just so much fun content. I really recommend doing that. I really recommend that. And you catch a lot of cool Pokemon down there that you definitely want on your team. There's a few Pokemon that I'm going to be putting on my team that for this playthrough in the underground. So once we get there, they should get it right before the second gym. You can, uh, you can do a lot there. But I remember when I first unlocked it, I was like sitting there and I was just like exploring it a little bit and I just found myself getting lost in it, mining, doing some cool things. They just got so much cool activities to do. So I am so far a big fan of this remake. I think this remake is better than the original. Especially with the post game that is supposed to be. I obviously haven't gotten to the post game yet, but it's looking a lot of fun. It is definitely looking a lot of fun. We grab our 18 XP. That ain't too much, but hey, we take those all day. And now we're just going to get pushing up on our route and rocking out from there. Let's roll. Of course, we step into grass and find a Pokemon instantly. And it's a Bidoof. I'm just going to run from it. I'm just running from it. I like to just battle these trainers and get rolling from there. But actually, we can head up into Floroma Town, which is uh, the next city right here. And we can get ourselves something cool. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. Let's push up here. Dude, another step? What you mean? What you mean, yo? Let me go through. Do I have to start using repels to get through? I don't want to battle these Starlies. I don't want to do all this. We don't want to do all this. We just want to roll through and get to the next gym and get to our next Pokemon. But that's my goal. Is not even to get to the next gym. It's to get to my next Pokemon. I want him so bad. I want him so bad. But it's going to be cutting it close. We are going to be cutting it close. But... We're gonna first last Samantha over here. She's gonna send out a nice lovely little Badoo who we can just tackle now. And I do have Badoo on my other team. He was a pain in the neck. Let me tell you. If any of you guys have been watching my live streams, you guys know Badoo has been a pain in the neck. So I have a Badoo on my team because I wanted a Roserade. And that thing only evolves on friendship to Rosalia and then Shiny Stone to Roserade. So I had caught this thing at level four and I'm leveling up, I'm leveling up, I'm leveling up. Next thing I know, this thing is level 27 and it still has an evolve. Like, what you mean? I'm using a level 27 Badoo over here, but all my Pokemon, I have a Prime Plup and all that, a Hound Doom, all that good stuff, and I have a dang Badoo over here. So I was sick of it. I released that thing in a while, threw it in my Poke Box. I was like, yo, get out my face. We went down into the den, and I actually caught a Rosalia over there. I was like, yo, I'm not waiting to level this thing up with friendship. It was just such a long task because I was getting tired of using a level 27 Badoo. It was just, it was just getting absurd. But we encounter another wild enemy. Yo, this game just doesn't want me to progress. <laughs> it really doesn't. Gonna send out our turret wig, and I'm just gonna run it. I'm just running it, y'all. I'm not dealing with it. Level four Starlies. We're over that stuff. We want we're we want to move on to bigger and better things here. There's a trainer here. Let's see what he has to say. Alright, so we're just talking about the boulders, all that good stuff. Is there anything over here that I can squeeze through? Nope. Let's head into the cave. Let's get rocking out here. Keep moving forward. We got the ravaged path. And there's only one way we can go. If we go up to that left, it, it leads to just a uh, an ocean area where we cannot get across without surf. So we're just gonna break our uh, this rock with our Bidoof, with Rock Smash, and keep moving along. Let's progress on. Dude, what is up with the wild encounters today? Getting out of hand here. It's definitely getting out of hand. It's getting so out of hand. I think we already caught a uh, Zubat, right? Show it to me. Yeah, we already caught a Zubat. That's what I'm saying. So I do like to catch the Pokemon, obviously, that I haven't caught yet. To get them in my Pokedex, just in case you guys want to see a full Pokedex playthrough, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that. I think that could be pretty cool. Oh, this guy's just staring at us. That's fine. We will grab this Pokeball here. We found an Awakening. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then we will tackle this trainer. Because you know, if you play Pokemon games, you have to take out every single trainer. You cannot move from a different area without taking out every single trainer. That's how I always play it. I wonder if, you, if everybody plays like that. Do you guys skip trainers or do you guys battle every single one? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know. This chick's going to send a nice, lovely little Badoo. Little Badoo versus my Turtwig. Versus my Turtwig. And we definitely need to get... 
before the second gym, we should have at least uh, three to four Pokemon. We definitely are going to need more Pokemon because it is a grass gym. It is a grass gym with a Rose Raid at the end. So we definitely need definitely need something, something to take care of that. Definitely need something to take care of that. I think we should be able to grab something in the, the dens before that, which is awesome. So we're not struggling in that gym. We are not struggling in that gym. But we whip on that Badoo. Is that the only Pokemon or does she have another? Let's level level 38 XP and she goes to send out Cherubi. Cherubi, yo, dude, this Pokemon's sick, yo. It's a little cherry. It's a little cherry. You can't go wrong with a little cherry, man. There you go. Tackle doing over half, which I love. And this thing's gonna send Leaf Engine, which is just easy eats. This bulky little turtle says that's easy eats. And we are going to, uh, I think, level up here. Should get enough XP from this Cherubi. Cherubi. Love that name. I love that name. Cherubi, Cherum. Such a cool, such a cool little evolution line. I do dig it. It's not too good, like stat wise, but it is a cool one. So if you guys look for a cool off meta Pokemon, I think that's a cool one for a team. Let's keep rolling up here. Come on, buddy. We have to face off with a double battle with just our turret wing. I wonder how that's going to play out. I wonder how that's going to play out. We do have Razor Leaf, which is a double hitting move, but still, that's a little rough. Krikotot's going to fly out here. We don't get thrived with that. I probably should have brought more potions, but that should be fine. That's the only downfall to my team. Like, I'm telling you guys, my team is sick. My team is so sick when I get everybody, but early game, we really don't have anybody up until at least the second gym. So this thing's going to struggle, but that's going to do some damage on me, but easy eats. I thought that was going to do a lot more because it was super effective, but he does get the stat decrease. Let's get that special attack drop. Good thing we're rocking a physical attack and move with tackle. We're getting ripping on. Bill, get him out of here, Cricket Dot. Cricket Dot, get out my face. We're not dealing with you, man. We're not dealing with these Route 1 Pokemon. I mean, that levels, dude. XP is so low here. Wurmple's gonna come out here. Bruh. Mean, dude. Wurmski's coming out here. We'll send some more tackles and just roll off from there. I just wanna evolve. Just wanna evolve. Like I said, downside but plus side in the long run. Because you take two levels here, you take an extra two levels to get a minus four levels. So I'm with it. I'm with it all day. But there we go. Bugcatcher Brander, get out my face. Dude, that XP not giving this to us. I want level 16, man. Just give me my levels. But we'll take your money for free. We will definitely take your money. Let's roll out here. Do a double battle. I guess we can't do it. You only have one Pokemon. That's so boring. Okay, get out of my face then. I'm not dealing with you then. Get out of here. Oh, we don't have Cut yet. Cut you get after the second gym. I'm so used to having Cut because uh, in my other one, I was just grinding on stream for like eight hours. <laughs> I was legit just like playing for eight hours. And I, uh, and I, what's it called? And I was just cutting down trees and stuff. But we make our way to our first little checkpoint town, which is Floroma Town. There's nothing really too much in this town, but it will lead to our next city, which is pretty dope. There we go. Get Turtwig ripping up on here. Love me a little bit, Turtwig. And I believe we will be getting our second Pokemon. Is it right here? Let me see. Let me see if it's the area. Dun, 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 dun. It's the area. It is the area we are going to be obtaining our second Pokemon, but before we do that, I actually want to head over here and talk to these people over there. Why, hello there. Looks like you played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure with Sinnoh with this Pokemon? We got ourselves some Mew. And now if we talk to the other person, guess what we're going to get? We're going to get ourselves. Wait, I don't want to spoil it yet. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, there. Let's see this. We got ourselves a Jirachi. So if you guys played on the same account, does not it's not the same switch same nintendo account if you played pokemon sword or shield talk to the guy on the left he will give you jirachi if you played let's go eevee or let's go pikachu talk to the granny on the right and she will give you mew if you play both you get them both and look at that yo we got ourselves two phenomenal pokemon in our inventory level one mew and a level five jirachi that is super cool love it so much gonna put them in the bank though because you know when we do playthroughs around here we don't use no legendaries that's just unfair even though they're really cool I'm really glad I got that. And I have to actually go in and you get my mystery gift egg. But there we go. Grab myself some nice little Mew. And we will move this Jirachi over there as well. So beautiful. And right here, we are on the route to get our first Pokemon. Our first Pokemon to join Turtwig on the squad. Cannot wait to do it. Let's get ripping over there. So head over to this place. We do not need anything from any of those places. So we're just going to walk in over here. Actually grab ourselves some berries, which could be cool. This lovely little Petra Berry while I hydrate. And you guys already know the deal. Whenever we grab a berry, we have to replace it. We have to replant the soil, you know? Earth friendly. 
Gotta be green. Everybody take care of your planet. You heard that first from Jeans. Someone asks you why you're taking care of the planet, just be like, yo, dude, Jeans told me. And if they say something, just send it to me. I'll, I'll handle it. Don't worry. You gotta protect your planet, guys. Gotta protect the planet. But there we go. Planet or chest up, Barry. Let's get rolling here. Let's talk to this chick right here. He says, help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my pop-up for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. But the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in, yo. No problem. I'll handle this. So if you head up here, you got Team Galactic and the Valley Windworker is over here. But before we actually tackle on those guys, your boy wants to catch his new Pokemon. He wants to catch his new Pokemon. Show it to me right here. Nope, not Shellos. Shellos is cool, though. Shellos is cool. But we don't want Shellos on our team. We do not want Shellos on our team. Actually, I can rip up and get some mean XP here. This is just free kills. We're just going to fly out here. Let's chip it up. Get him out of here. Shellos, get out of here. We don't want you on your team. We want another Pokemon on our team. Let's keep looking for the grass. Keep looking for the grass. There's a nice lovely level up. And do we get a move? Nope, no move. Let's keep looking. Come on, baby. Who is joining Turtwig? Is it this guy? No, no, not Shellos. We're not taking Shellos. <laughs> Shellos really wants to be on our team, but we're saying no to this. Shellos, you are not allowed to be on our team. Do I run it? No. We're going to take this XP because XP is awesome. You know, with my uh, when I catch this next Pokemon, I could actually go down and do that double battle. Because, you know, those chicks didn't want to fight me. So now, now that I'm going to get another Pokemon, we might have to go back down there. Give them a little smack -ski. Tell them to get out of our face. We the best Pokemon trainer out there. But come on, baby. Give me my Pokemon. I know he spawns here. I know he spawns here. Come on, right here. Right here. Right now. Let's do it. Give it to me. No, not Shellos. We do not want Shellos. What is going on? <laughs> I'm going to start running from these things. I'm not killing them. XP's not that worth it. Run it. Give me my next Pokemon. I will sit here for 18 hours if it has one. Come on, right here. Back to back. Give it to me. Bruh. Bruh. Alright. You know what they say. Fifth time's charm. Fifth time is charm. Fifth time is charm, right here. Fifth time's charm, baby. Dude, dude, is it only Shellos that spawn here? I'm confused. I'm confused. All right. I'm going to send a note here. I'm going I'm, I'm to let him know, yo. Next Shellos that spawns is getting this Razor Leaf. Next Shellos that spawns is getting absolutely pimp slapped by a Razor Leaf. I'm threatening the Shellos community here. Any other Shellos spawns here, they're going to get it before the Pokemon that I want. They're going to get it. That's a threat. And that is a threat. I'll let them know right now. Okay. Patch of Resuci. They're getting the idea. But this isn't the Pokemon that we want. I'll still catch it though. I will still catch it for Pokedex, but <laughs> but the Shellos community got their got the idea down. They're like, all right, yo, we'll back off. We'll send in Pachirisu over here. He's gonna baby doll eyes me here. That's totally fine. Drop my physical attack. Okay. He's gonna chip up on you, still do a little bit of damage. We should just be able to catch a Pokeball. All right, never mind. We just get a critical hit and kill it in one shot. What what is going on today? What is going on? We get 90 XP. But yo, as long as it's not Shellos. Come on, yo. It is time. Come on. Show it to me. Show me my Pokemon. Yes. Here it is. Weasel. Thank the Lord. Weasel is joining the squad alongside with Turtwig here. I think I should just be able to throw a Pokeball right at it. Let's do it. Huck it. Huck it. Weasel. Going to evolve into Floatzel. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Such a great water type Pokemon. Cannot wait to add it to the squad and team up with Turtwig and beat the Leap Four with this guy. But there it is. Yo, I love how I had to threat the Shellos community to stop spawning. And it worked. It worked. Another Shellos did not spawn after that. But there we go. Weasel to the squad. Add him to the animation genes. It's probably already down there. Because, you know, I'm the best video editor out there. Psych. Video editing is a pain sometimes. <laughs> but I love doing it for you guys. But there we go. We got Shellos. Or not Shellos. Dang it, dude. I got Shellos in my head. But we got Weasel. I actually want to see this thing's moveset. I actually want to see this thing's moveset. I love this Pokemon so much. Check this thing summary. Look at it adamant nature that's pretty good because he is a physical attacker so that's gonna work wonders and let's see his moveset he only has tackle growl and tail whip so eventually we will learn a water move he's going to be our water pokemon for everything all right i got orders to keep everyone out team galactic you're not giving me looks blah 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 okay we're gonna have to battle him for it. so let's rock it let's battle him i probably should let the weasel but we're gonna try to get some levels with him gotta love it dude weasel to the squad baby Love Floatzel, dude. Floatzel is such a great water type for this gen. One of my favorite water types, actually, of all time. It is just super cool. Besides starters, because I don't really count starters. Everybody knows starters are just super dope. This thing's going to use a fake out. They'll use a fake out in a single battle. This ain't 
Pokemon VGC doubles. You want the work of Pokemon VGC doubles. You gotta know who you're messing with first. You're messing with the jeans, baby. Bro, my nose keeps itching for some reason. I don't even know why. But basically, it's gonna pop. I don't wanna get Weasel out there, but yo, Turtwig just ripping. With another crit, dude. He got angry at the Shellow, so now he's just critting left and right. Now he's just critting left and right. Weasel's gonna get 87 XP. You would love to see it. We'd love to see it. But what I really want to do in today's video is try to make our my way to the next town, which is Eterna City. Hopefully we can make our way there without making the video too, too long. I think we should be thriving here. But he's going to open that up. The door is going to be locked and the power or not the power. The uh, flower patches over here are going to or the Galactic Team Galactic is going to open up another lane, which is all the way back in Florida. Right so let's head back here. Dip up here and go into here. So I think we have another battle with a Team Galactic member here, right? Yeah, howdy. How you guys doing here? Enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. Look at Team Galactic trying to take all that sweet honey. You want the smoke, dude? You want the smoke? I believe we have to take these guys on one on one, which is kind of stupid. I'd rather just do like a double battle, but one on one ain't too bad because we get some more XP for my one and only Weasel. And like I said, we're going to be able to evolve Rattle today, which is going to be awesome. And I don't, we're probably not going to be able to evolve Weasel. That might be next episode, but Weasel's just super good. He's super good all around. But it's going to be super tough. We got the second gym, which is grass. So, like I said, we're going to need to catch another Pokemon because Buizel and Turtwig are not taking out a grass gym. Solid water type and a solid grass type. Not taking it. No shot. It's a big old tackles. Give me the XP. All the XP is mine. Need it all. 55, and now he's going to send out Silcoon. I would love to use Buizel, but he's just not really going to do much. Rather just keep getting his levels up with Turtwig and then eventually show him off when we can. Built. Not gonna do half. Do not harden. <sighs> oh, hate this game. <laughs> Yo, dude, I can't stand when Pokemon do that. You just start using harden. Like, there's no point in doing that. Unless you're playing doubles. Unless you're playing doubles. Like, dude, it just gets the just gets to be absurd. But Turtwig, like, after the first gym, he kind of struggles a little bit by himself because you're versing a bunch of grass types and bug types. So you kind of need somebody to pair him up with. But later in the game, he starts to become a powerhouse with that grass and ground typing. He is really, really good. Turtwig is the definition of, like, not so good early game, but then late game, he's an absolute monster. Absolutely love to retire. I think it's amazing, especially with that ground typing. Just works super well in this gen. But there we go. Get it. Grab our XP, and now we can head to the second Galactic Grunt. Run and get after him that way. Let's run it. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty here. Let's get it. All right, this guy's up next. But the best part about defeating these guys is we get honey, and honey is where it's at. Honey is definitely very valuable. And I'll explain to you guys why when we actually grab honey. But we go 1v1 with the Zubat here. God dang Zubat. God dang Zubat. Definitely want this weasel level up. Because we are eventually going to start versing a lot of flying. So we're gonna need something to kind of like uh, do some work up against that. So Weasel or Floatzel, whenever we pull up, will be a good, good little matchup just to do some work. It's not gonna be super effective, but like I said, it it will do enough for us. But yeah, when this team is fully done, nobody can look at me and be like, "Yo, this, that team ain't good." Like our team is going to look so good. Like just looking at it wise, it looks phenomenal, and it's really strong. It covers like all aspects of Pokemon, all the typings. It's just an absolute beast. We have no typing overlapping on this team either. Which is amazing. And yo, big old tackle comes out there. And I'm just gonna tackle him one more time. Finish this one off. Yo, dude, no more ducks. No ducks. Don't hit yourself. Yes, sir. Yo, Turtwig clutching up, baby. Get that Zubat out my face. Yo, dude, what's up with Turtwig getting crits? There's another one. That's his third of the video already. This thing is ripping. The Shellos really, really gave him a problem. Weasel's gonna level up. Give him a water move. Nope, no water move for him. We're waiting for it. We are waiting for that water move. We'll take our earnings. We'll take our money. And we will save the honey. All right, get on out of here. Get on out of here, Galactic Runs. Here's my boy over here. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. Ooh, we got the works key. So now we can actually head to that building that they actually locked out, which is dope. Dope, dope. And this guy, for saving his honey, he is actually going to give us some honey. Dope. So, like I said, I was going to tell you guys what honey does once we obtain it. And now that we obtain it, now I got to tell you guys what it does. So, there are honey trees scattered all over the Sinnoh region. Just like this thing right here. It's like a little golden yellow tree right here. And if you go up to it, you can slather the bark with honey. And then in seven hours later, a Pokemon will be spawning in that tree. And there are certain Pokemons that can only spawn from honey. And there's a Pokemon named Heracross, who is super, super rare. 
and you can only get them from honey trees so he's one of the rarest in the game so if you guys are looking to complete the pokedex make sure you guys get honey and you honey up every single tree to give you guys a higher chance to catch those honey pokemon and heracross as a whole but we got the Windworks key. We're going to head it over here, unlock the store, and keep moving on with the main story of the game. There's another honey tree over here, but we do not have enough honey. I believe you can buy honey from that guy. I believe he does that. I believe he sells honey. If not, there's somebody else around here who sells honey. But here's a grunt. No way, you have a key? Yeah. Yeah, we got a key. Your grunts are stupid. We're going to roll in here and whoop up on you guys. Let's do it. Here's first little battle. We'll have to roll all these little galactic ones. But dude, this game is so much fun. This game, like, if you guys, I, I know I have a lot of people asking me on stream and stuff, and sometimes in my comment sections, like, yo, is Jeans, is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pearl really uh, worth it? Should I pick it up? Should I do this? In my opinion, this is this is, has been my answer. If you guys enjoy solo player Pokemon games, this is the game for you. Like, if you guys like playing main story Pokemon games, yes, grab this game. It has a lot of content. The post game content is phenomenal. The main story's content is really, really good. You also have the underground, which adds so much replay value to this game. So if you like solo player Pokemon games, definitely rock out with that. If you're getting this game just for like competitive scene, I would say no, because they only have online with casual battles. So it's really no rank mode there, but if you just like want to play solo and have a little bit of casual fun on the online ladder, then yeah, definitely get this game. Because this game is definitely better than the original in my opinion. And it's just uh it's just so good. It's definitely a fun pickup with a lot of replay value. And I didn't even play the post game yet. I just know it's gonna be great. I just know it's gonna be great. I only played the underground and the main story. So. The post game, obviously, it's gonna be better. If you just add more content than from the old game, it's gonna be better. But this Cascoon just keeps going in with a defense boost. We're just gonna keep tackling it up and keep ripping slow. Get him out of here. Get him gone. Cascoon out my face. But I'm trying to think. Can we make it to Eterna City today? <clears throat> We're gonna be kind of close. We are gonna be kind of close. Turtwig gets level 17. He wants to learn Curse. I'm just gonna say keep old moves. And we are almost getting ready to evolve. One more level with my boy. One more level with my starter. And then it's rip. Tears down my face, man. We have to say bye-bye to Turtwig. We definitely want to battle this guy because I like to battle every single battle. Get as much XP as I possibly can and just go from there. The Team Galactic run here. With two Pokemon, not one, two. Probably Zubat if I had to guess. Wurmple. Wurmps. Wurmpskies. And I'm going to send out my turn, right? Just keep getting these levels up for Buizel. Keep leveling up my Buizel. Buizel. Till he's like, ready to like take on Pokemon. Life, so. <clears throat> Didn't go for a string shot here. He got all missed though because he stinks. And then we're going to tackle up and bring him down the red. Oh, yo, I keep feeling like there's something like stuck in my throat, man. That's why I keep drinking water. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully that did it dirty. I just have like a little scratch in my throat. Hopefully go away. If not, we just gonna keep drinking water while we're recording. This thing's gonna send a poison thing, and I swear. I swear, dude. Why is that guy? Why do I gotta get poisoned like that? We'll tackle up on you. Do we throw out Buizel here? That is the real question. Is Buizel coming out here to do the dirty work? He gets 61 XP. He's, he is going to get level 10. I think he gets a water move. Well, I'm at least hoping. Let's see what he brings out. Zubat. Glam me out. Yes, we want to take that thing. I'll beat it up all day, baby. Get this cat out of here. See, these are like one of the worst gen exclusives. Glam me out and Stunky. Hey, come on, man. Come on. You guys can do so much better. You have a skunk and a cat. Like, dude, you, you guys put no thoughts in that one. But no thoughts. He is going to end up ground here, which is going to lower our attack stat. And we are just going to drop a nice level. Chipping away damage. Can we get off another hit? Should just be able to outspeed it here, right? Actually, no, that climbing, I think, is outspeeding. Let's see. He's going to growl again. And I think this should be able to KO. Our minus two. Well, I'm doing dirty turn, right? Because I got to get out of here. I got to fuel you up. I got to give you an antidote. I got to do all that stuff. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. Get him out of here, yo. Lay me out, out my face. Weasel, welcome to level 10, buddy. Love it. Learn a water move, dude. Learn a water move. He did not, dude. When do you learn some water moves? Learn, like, Aqua Jet. Learn something cool. Learn Water Gun. Get on the board, dude. We need some water moves out of you. But we gotta go to our bag. We are poisoned. We are ripped up pretty well here. We have an antidote. There you go, buddy. And then, uh... I'm gonna start getting rid of these potions, man. Because eventually, I will not use these potions anymore. So we'll just start fueling this up. Beautiful. Turtwig back to full health. Let's move on. Let's move on. 
So we can actually head over here and I think we have to face off with this uh Team Galactic Commander. Hey, look at the little, little chibi art. The chibi art characters are hilarious. But yeah, we are going to face off with this thing and I believe it has a Pergoly, which is the Glammy out second stage. And that thing is thick. That thing is a chunk, master. Commander Mars over here. I love the background. Gonna send out Zubat here, turn one. And we're gonna get after it. We are going to get after it. Turtwig, I know you can do it. Heck yeah, man. Rip it up. Rip it up, Turtwig. Oh, did I use Growl? Oh my lord, dude. Why'd I use Growl? I meant to just hit up and then use Tackle. Now we're confused and we're gonna hit ourselves in confusion. I would love this first thing to actually use Growl. It'd be better than nothing, right? We end up hitting ourselves. We do have Super Potions. We have all that good stuff. Let's go into battle. Let's go into tackle. This thing really confused me, man. He's gonna U turn pivot out. So he's gonna pivot out into, what is it, Purgly, right? He's gonna go into Purgly. Purgly might give us a tough time. Let's see, level 16. Wow, that thing is high level. Yo, can you hit this thing? Not be confused. Oh my lord, Turtwig, Turtwig! Turtwig. We're gonna battle here. We are gonna go for this Rage Leaf. Let's, uh, let's see how much damage we can get off here. I think he's gonna go for a fake out. Oh my god. We gotta give a single potion. We are going to lose if we do not give a single potion. Might be a long battle, baby. Might be a long battle. Or we might lose it. I don't know, man. Looking tough, dude. Turtwig's tough to play with early game, man. Super tough to play with early game. He's gonna go for a thief here. Easy eats, baby. He's gonna take my item, but I do not have an item. Now I'm gonna go to battle, and we're gonna start ripping up on with the obvious leaf on this thing. We go for another thief. It's easy. It's Turtwig, right, do some mean damage on this thing. No, come on. Can you, like, stop being confused? Thank you. Thank you. Deal some damage here. And this thing is going to... I think this thing is actually eating a berry. I think this thing does have a berry. But Rage Leaf going to pop here. We're going to go for Scratch. That might do some big old damage. Yo, we're still confused. That's like a four-turn confusion. Oh, my lord, bro. What you mean? We got to go for potions again. We got more stuff. Got to heal up. Long battle, baby. Long battle. But we need our Turtwig. We indeed need our Turtwig. He's just going to slowly chip away. Can we, like, stop being confused? Would be lovely. He's going to scratch up on me again. Snapped out of confusion finally, and Rage Leaf is good. Get him. Get some nice damage. Beautiful. And there's that thing's Orenberry. I told you that that thing had an Orenberry. We don't like that one bit. Confusion really did us dirty this battle. Now we're in the now we're in the dumps. We're just gonna have to keep sending potions here. Wish we did have super potions. Probably should have bought him at the store. Probably should have bought him at the Pokemon. Let's see what he does here. I'm gonna go for another scratch, chip us up, and I'm gonna go for my reason. Or do I go for another heal? I'm going for Razor Leaf. We still have to take out this dang Zubat. Scratch comes out. Razor Leaf gonna fly here. One more Razor Leaf should be able to take this thing out. Or we get a crit. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Turtwig. Coming in with a big crit. Love to see it. Love to see it. That's some big XP. It's a big XP for a squad. Woo! Level up. Level up. 18. Yo, we have to keep Turtwig alive here. He evolves. He evolves. And Weasel, learn quick attack. Dude, learn a water move, man. Learn a water move. You know what? We are going to switch our Pokemon here. To Weasel, just to give Turtwig a potion. Just to give Turtwig a potion here. We have to keep Turtwig alive. You know, it's an absolute must. Or should I say Grottle? We're not going to say Grottle yet. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep moving. Here. All right, so Pokemon. All right, let's go into Bag. Give another potion out here. Team Galactic Commander really giving us a tough time. But we definitely got to work on levels. I might actually do that off stream. I might do that off stream so we can just be ready to grind the main story out. I think that'd be really cool. But Buizel out here doing some work. Uh, what can we go for for now? Let's go straight for a quick attack. Or tackle's probably our best bet. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. Oh, this thing has absorb. Of course it has absorb. Of course this thing has absorb. Let's swap our Pokemon. Let's just get Turtwig in here. And finish out this battle. Let's just finish out this battle. Getting real sick of it, man, dude. The confusions are just too much for us. Just too much for us to handle. God dang, too bad. This thing's gonna. Oh my god, he uses a U turn. Does some mean damage on us. Uh, I think we do outspeed this thing. We actually might not. He's gonna go. Oh my lord, dude. What is this game? Come on, man. Can we just start hitting our tackles or something? 
Hit it, land it. Thank you, Turtwig. Thank you, buddy. Getting off some big old damage there. We're gonna go for another tackle here. That was actually kind of stupid because if we hit ourselves in confusion, we're going to lose. Turtwig, don't do it. Thank you. Snaps out of confusion. Beautiful. Tackle's gonna fire. Get another crit, dude. Big old damage. Give me my potions. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with these Zubats, man. Confusion really doing me dirty here. Really doing me dirty. He did have a super potion. He's gonna go for a U-turn. He's gonna head up on me. I don't think we get up another one, so we are going to have to drop yet another potion. <laughs> I can't, dude. <laughs> I can't deal with it. There we go. There's another potion. We'll do this all day. He's gonna go for a super side. I hate this game. Does anybody want this game? It's for free. I'll give it away for free. It's all you guys. You guys can have it. Tackle's gonna fly out here. Too bad's gonna use U-turn, dude. This thing just has like the move set just to annoy me. Yo, Turbo, can you please, please hit this thing? Hit it. Yes. Finish it. Yes. Let's go. I'm the best. <laughs> but that took a while. That took a while. That was such a pain battle. But more importantly, we finished it off there and we are going to get a grotto that is going to help us so much. Our poor little Turtwig is not as weak anymore. We are now evolving. Look at this thing. Give me a better turtle. Turtwig, love you, buddy. Bye-bye. Everybody wave bye to Turtwig. Because we are now proud owners of a wonderful little grotto. Wonderful little grotto. Love this Pokemon. Look at this dude. Yes, sir. Level 18. He looks so sick. He looks so sick. Congrats. Your Turtwig evolved into a grotto. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Rattles data will be added to the Pokedex, and now we get rolling with them. But more importantly, we defeat Team Galactic, all that good stuff, and then this professor over here comes talk to us, say blah, 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 and he's going to give us something, isn't he? Or no, we, we reunite him with his daughter. That was the whole, like, thing there. Does he repay us with anything, or does he just, uh, it just opens up? But he does give us a hint about a Pokemon that actually is pretty rare, and that is Driflim. He only spawns here on Fridays, so... He will spawn in this grass on Fridays. So if you guys want him, make sure you're there on Fridays to actually get him. It's pretty cool. But let's roll out here. Let's go back to the Poke Center. We have been recording for a good bit. I do want to record for like another little bit. So I'm going to go here, grab ourselves some nice, lovely uh, heals and some items and all that good stuff. And then we're going to go head up to the route and then finish off the episode up there in a little bit. But we're probably not going to make it to the next town. But at least we were able to evolve Rattle and get ourselves the second Pokemon for our squad. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. So we out of here. And we did get Mew and Jirachi, which is pretty cool. Mew and Jirachi are pretty cool. Let's head into the shop because we just use a ton of stuff. And we are getting too strong for like potions, so we need some like super potions. Let's buy some super potions here. I think 11 is a solid number. 11 is a solid number there. We just had to use so many uh, regular potions because they only healed 20. We were taking basically as much damage as we were handing out. But it is all good. Let's go show off our newly grotto here. And we are in a new route, so let's see if this guy wants to battle. Let's do it here. <laughs> loving it, loving it. Jacob's gonna send out punk. Yo, come on! What you mean? I come every single Pokemon we burst is just just our total opposite. Just our total opposite. Can we actually fight this thing with this? Let's try to go for a tackle here. He's gonna use tackle. Okay, cool. Maybe he doesn't have a fire move. Look how bulky that thing is. Real bulky. Growl's gonna hit up hard. Not do half. Hopefully this thing's not rocking a fire move. Let's see. Uh, I don't think it's rocking a fire move. Dude, every Pokemon we go up against. I told you, first couple routes are tough for Growl. So my suggestion would be to take a Starly. This thing does have Emperor, okay. Would be to take a Starly on your route. Or take a Starly if you take Turtwig. But in my case, I do not want that. I do not want that. We like to have fun here. We like to have fun around here. There we go. KOU gets some mean XP. And we defeat Camper Jacob. Lovely. Gotta love it. But I know a lot of the Pokemon or a lot of the battles coming up are uh, are rock people. So that's really good. See if we got any Pokemon in this grass real quick. Actually, we'll just head over here. Take out this guy. We got a rock guy. Might as well get the XP. All that good stuff. And try to get a water move for our boy Weasel. Because I really don't just want to use him with uh, normal moves. We do not want to use him for that. If not, we'll definitely be showcasing him. Plenty full in this playthrough. So don't you guys worry. Don't you guys worry. If you do flies out here, my growl should just be able to roll out strong up against this guy. Come here. Let me hit you with a razor leaf. So razor leaf. So me he's not sturdy. 
Guess not. Get him out my game. One tap and him, no problem. Throttle is buzzing. Throttle is buzzing. There we go, Buizel with the level up. Give him a water move. Come on, man. Gonna switch to Machop. Uh, let's keep our current Pokemon. Let's keep our current Pokemon. Nice little fighting. And we're gonna go just stick on to our Razor Leafs here. Look at Grotto, yo. Grotto's doing some big damage. This thing is gonna. Oh. Well, we don't like that. Nice little revenge shot on me. I thought that was gonna do more damage than it did. I really did think it was gonna KO, and I was just gonna be like, yo, Buizel, you're gonna have to come in here and clutch it up. You're gonna have to come in here and clutch it up. But there it is. Machop, get out my face. Buizel, take the XP. Awesome. Let's send out you, dude. We'll keep fighting here. If I had a water move, I would totally send out Buizel here and showcase him. But nah, yo, we want our water moves. We want our water moves. Like, even Grotto has a water move. He has withdrawal, man. Weasel doesn't? Get out my face. <laughs> this is crazy. It's just crazy. And there it is. Finish off that guy. And oh no, he still has a Bidoof. This is where we throw him in here. This is where Weasel gets to shine. Up against a Bidoof, man. We doing it. We rocking with it. Weasel, get on out there. Yeah, dude, he looks so sick. What's he got? Like a tube around his neck? He's just one of the coolest looking water types. I love him so much. Let's go for our tackles. Here's our tackle. Bop. Getting some nice zesty damage. And this thing has tackle as well. And that's stab for him. He's going to be able to chip away some damage on me. But we are doing more damage, which is lovely. Weasel should be able to get his first victory. His first victory royale. But of course this thing defense curls. So now we have to hit him two more times. Now we have to chip up onto this thing twice more. A little whack. We don't like that one bit. Tackle's going to fly. Hey. Beautiful. And what's he going to go for here? He's going to go for a growl. Now that lowers our attack. And hopefully we can kill this thing with this next tackle. Weasel, come on, yo. You're the best. You're the best. We got you for a reason. Now pick up the KO. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Weasel. Dude's a unit. Dude's a unit. Beautiful. We get ripping. Get some mean XP. And we thrive there. Hiker Daniel. Get, go take a hike. <laughs> get out of here. All right. So we're sitting here. And we get this Pokeball, which is actually really good. What do we got? X attack and that. And what else do we have going on? And I think there's a cave coming up very soon. Actually, there might not be. Let's go into our, uh... Let's go into our bag. Let's use our potions and stuff. Let's use this potion, and I'm just going to keep that same. I do want to actually check the map. I really don't want to explore too much. I don't think there's a cave up here, is there? Got the ironworks located in the forest in the back. And no, there is a forest all the way up top here. But I think we actually are going to be calling it a video for today. Because the route up here is actually pretty long and it will take us a while to get to the next town. So we're just going to be taking that on in the next episode. But if you guys enjoyed the content today, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be completing this route right here. Making it to the next city. Maybe doing Gym 2? Probably not. But if not, we will definitely make it to Gym 2 and explore the underground and potentially catch our third Pokemon for our squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.